The flat picking lesson. One of the things that drives us beginners so crazy is trying to wrap our hands and heads around using a flat pick. Now the first rule of using a flat pick, gotta find the right one. For years I struggled with flat picks, never finding the right option for me using other people's suggestion that fit other people's hands. When you're looking for a pick, you wanna find the pick that suits your hands, the size, the shape. Maybe you have a hard time hanging on to a smooth surface pick. You want something with a little bit of grip. Maybe the grip drives you nuts and you want something flat. So there are many types of picks. They come in all shapes and sizes. And this is the pick that I use. This right here, little Jim Dunlop jazz pick, not quite a jazz three, Quite a bit bigger. When in my search of trying to find the perfect pick, because I knew it had to be out there somewhere, a relative of mine shared with me the Jim Dunlop Jazz 3. Very thick, very tiny, very hard to find in my own hands. And after a while of trying and struggling so hard to use this pick, I decided I'm a finger picker. Now, it wasn't until years later when I finally did some research and looked into the many options that are available to us these days as guitarists, very fortunate guitarists. I was able to find the pick that suits my hands. Very long, pretty thick, and I never lose it in my hands. I have a hard time of dropping it. Now, after you find the pick for your hands, the next thing you want to do is figure out how you're going to hold it. And there are a couple of ways. First, you can hold it like this, just peeking out the bottom of the thumb and index finger. You can also turn it and hold it as if it were your nail. You can hold it as if it were your nail and then you rotate like, like so. Or another way. You can hold the pick as if you were going to flip a quarter, but instead of flipping that quarter, I'm just going to clamp that thumb right down. This is how I use a pick, and this has been very effective for me to keep me from dropping it. So, now that we have a grip on our picks, the next thing is to get the motion down. And one of the problems that people have with the picking motion is they think it is all about the up and down, and sadly, they're wrong. See, our eyes can see up and down, left and right, but what they can't see is depth, at least not well. So when you see somebody strumming and picking, it's likely you're going to think that all of that activity is coming from the elbow that is activating the arm, when in fact the motion is like that of a pendulum. The pick is on a pendulum at the end of your fingers and your wrist is allowing the pick to dip down and strike the strings and rise back up, getting out of the way of the strings instead of having to cross all the way back and forth, maximizing your effort and minimizing all the steps that it takes to do it. Now, once you got that going, you want a little anchor. And we do have a couple of anchors. One would be the arm on the guitar, but yet another anchor for the flat pick is the heel of the hand on the bridge. Happy flat picking.